Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube, and we have got another roundup today. And whew, there are some big announcements that happened this week. So we're gonna get into that. If it's your first time here, if you're finding us for the first time, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, with that, let's dive in. First up is a blog post from Paul Turley and a video which talks about his Power BI Solution Advisor. And what this is, is basically he put together some information and some content for you to try and help you figure out where you need to land from a solution that you're potentially creating with our business intelligence tools, specifically Power BI. And so this may be helpful to you if you're maybe not sure or you're a little stuck and maybe wanna get a second opinion or just look at other approaches that may be available to you. I highly recommend checking this out. He's put in a lot of work into it. So good job, Paul. Marco Russo's got a blog where he's talking about how you can capture Power BI queries using DAX Studio. If you're not familiar with DAX Studio, DAX Studio is a tool that the folks over at SQL BI, which Marco Russo is one of those, they created this tool to help you gain insights from a DAX perspective. You can use it for all sorts of things. But one of the things you can use it for is kind of profiling and getting actual query information. You can connect to the Power BI desktop, the instance that sits underneath Power BI desktop. You can connect to that, get the queries that are executing when you go to view a report and see how long that duration is taking. This can be very helpful if you've got complex measures that are taking a long time and you're not maybe sure which one it is, or if your report is just performing slow and you wanna check out which visual may be causing the problem or even determine is it a visual or is it DAX or you know where's the actual breakdown? This is a great tool that can give you some insights into that. This has also come up in a few discussions I've had in terms of when we start looking at premium and performance and things of that nature where you can come back to Power BI Desktop and maybe try and isolate things to either improve or to rescope to help reports run faster because that could absolutely affect perform performance in premium and just overall performance inside of Power BI. So if you haven't checked out this tool, I highly recommend you check it out and to see what you can gain insights from for the reports that you've created. The links for this blog post and all the other items I'm gonna talk about, including some bonus items, are down in the description below. Chris Webb's got a Power Query blog post for you that looks at how to improve performance with inside of Power Query, whether that is inside of Power BI or inside of Excel's Get and Transform Data. It's Power Query, right? It's Power Query. The idea here is that if you're doing merge operations or uh, he also showed an example where he's doing a remove distincts, where if you add primary keys to your tables that you're trying to do that merge operation on, if you've got a large set of data, then your performance could improve dramatically. He, in his example, he's using some CSV files, but it could be Excel files as well. If you can get some primary keys in there, there may be benefits to doing that. He gives some great examples. He shows some M syntax that you can use to add those primary keys into the syntax so that it's aware of it and poof, better performance. So if you're doing something where you're doing merge operations on large items, you may wanna consider looking at this if you're trying to do the merge from a Power Query perspective. There is a new release of Power BI Report Server. I've been fielding questions in all the conferences I've been going to lately of people asking, when is it gonna hit? It's here. So this is the March 2018 release of Power BI Report Server. There is a new server build and a new version of Power BI Desktop optimized for Power BI Report Server. So you need to make sure that you're updating both. And in this release, there's a lot of things that are synced up with what's been available in Power BI Desktop for the service. The most notable of these is bookmarking and the storytelling feature set that's available now with inside of Power BI Report Server. Also sync slicers and the ability for cross highlighting across visuals. Those are available now in Power BI Desktop. Be sure to check out this blog post for all the items that you can do now inside of your Power BI reports inside of Power BI Report Server. This week at the Microsoft Business Forward event, we announced a new capability coming to Power BI. This is the Common Data Service for Analytics. The Common Data Service for Analytics, also called CDSA, this is built on top of the Common Data Schema. 
So this is the common data model. This is a layer on top of it where we can have data sources and have a common schema inside of our organization where all these data sources are coming from. This is not to be confused with Azure Data Catalog. That was more meant for inventorying items. This is more meant for a way for you to connect to the data and get access to that data in a common way. There's also gonna be apps that are gonna be built on top of this that you're gonna be able to take advantage of either from partners or from Microsoft directly, and they will be able to work inside of Power BI. And these will be available to work with CDSA from a Power BI perspective. This is actually a really big deal and I encourage you to read more information about it and to just stay up to date with the updates that are coming out regarding CDSA and also the common data service for apps, which is on the Power Apps side. Both of those together is a very powerful combination. Highly recommend you, you dig into this a little bit and to understand what's coming. Also, be sure to check the bonus links down below. There's another item in there for other announcements that were made during this event and you will not be disappointed. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item this week? Maybe it was something I didn't mention. Go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and let me know. For me, I'm gonna go with getting the Power BI queries from DAX Studio. That's I, I love troubleshooting and I love being able to help customers with performance related issues. So that one's near and dear to my heart. I love it, I love it. CDSA is also very cool though. But like I said, I wanna know from you leave it down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.